day folks and welcome to this YouTube channel M&E Made Simple. Today we're going to be looking at a topic entitled what is data collection. Now to start with data collection in M&E is very important. In fact it is the cornerstone to getting the information you need to record on activities and interventions that you've been undertaking. Many programs, projects across the world rely on data collection. Now, I won't go any further explaining, but we might just as well go to Google because you know, Google is the king of search. Google has compiled all the publications and all the viewpoints of PhD people, of learned people into one search box so you must trust google really let's let's just type what data collection is what is data collection let's hope we see a definition there yeah maybe i can zoom it a bit is there any zoom okay i must mention that sometimes me and computers we don't go hand in hand but uh, i do get by let's see if i can zoom it a bit okay yeah zoomed it now how do i make it seen sorry about this folks sometimes computers and i just don't get along oh i've lost it sorry about that okay let me try to try it one more time uh, not working okay we'll just read it from here data collection is the process of gathering and measuring information on variables of interest in an established systematic fun function fashion that enables one to answer stated research question, test hypotheses, and evaluate outcomes. So you discover that actually data collection is the process of gathering information. You see, in every project and pro program, there are certain indicators that will tell you whether your intervention is progressing in the right direction. Let's take, for instance, if you watched one of my videos, I did demonstrate a bit what a log frame is, but let's just go briefly and open and see what a log frame is. Okay, so there are those images. And here is a log frame example. So as you can see, here is a log frame example, and there's a narrative summary, there's a goal, improved agriculture yield. Now, how do you know whether agriculture yield has improved? Well, you look at the indicator, indicators there. There's agriculture production, okay? This is an indicator. Now for you to capture agriculture product production, you need to collect this data. There's no two way about it. You need to go out there and collect this data. And by collecting this data, can you know whether there has been an improvement in agriculture yield. Now, let me just say, to make it, if you are totally new to how this is done, I'll, I'll even go a step deep just to help you understand what this means, okay? So let's say this is the log frame. And again, we say this is, we are trying to improve agriculture yield in a commu community where you are promoting a program. And the indicator there is agricultural production increased, okay? Although, even when I look at the phrasing of this indicator, it doesn't sound like, an, like I, the right way to phrase an indicator, but this is an indicator. So what you're supposed to do here is simply, simply come up with a, some kind of data collection tool that you use to ask, maybe it could be farmers in the field, or it could be women, if this program is focusing on women, you ask them, what is your production? What is your annual production? And then you give them a questionnaire, some kind of paper where they can fill in their production details. You choose perhaps 50 to 100 or 500, depending on your sample size, you ask them that question. They'll feed in their production figure. That process of collecting that data from them collecting the production figure from these participants is what is data collection. Once you get that, you analyze it, and then can you be able to say that agriculture yield has either improved or declined. However, when it comes to data collection, there are various ways 
to do this collection and in my next videos i'll be able to explain in detail how this is done and what methods are used to collect the data but in a nutshell this is what data collection involves so that's all the time i had for you this day my name has been coach alexander i hope you enjoyed this and see you on the other side